Acorn 6 includes an awesome new feature, the ability to have text follow the path of a shape. To get started, create a shape with one of Acorn's shape tools. For this first example, we'll use the oval shape tool. Click and drag out an oval. To add path text, click and hold on the text tool icon in the tools palette. A drop-down menu will appear. Choose path text. You can modify the font, size, and other text variables in the inspector palette. Here we'll increase the font size. Then click on the shape where you want the path text to appear. Type out some text. Hit the escape key when you're done typing to end text editing. To change where the text starts on the shape, you can use the on canvas control present at the start of the text. Or use the start offset field in the inspector palette. To move or rotate the shape, choose the Move tool. Then, click and drag on the path text. Hover over corner and rotating arrows will appear. You can click and drag to rotate, or you can pull outwards and inwards to scale the path text. Now, let's create another oval and type out some more path text. Use keyboard shortcut TTT to quickly switch to the path text tool. Click on the shape and type out some text. Hit the escape key when you're done typing. If you want your text to follow the inside of the shape, go to Shape, Bezier Stuff, Reverse Path. To move the text below the path line, make sure your text is selected for editing and adjust the baseline slider in the inspector palette. You can also adjust the kerning to get the letters closer together or farther apart from one another. Now let's undo the last couple steps using keyboard shortcut Command Z. And we'll adjust our start offset. And let's use the move tool to reposition the text and rotate it a little bit. If you decide you want to edit your text again, choose the text tool and double click on your path text to begin editing. You can create some really fun path text by creating shapes using the Bezier pen tool. Be sure to watch the video tutorials demonstrating the basics of using the Bezier pen and read up on how to use this powerful tool. We will quickly follow along the tree trunk using the Bezier pen, and when we're done, we'll hit the escape key. Then, just the same as before, select the path text tool and click on the shape where you want to begin typing. Let's decrease the font size and type out some text. Hit the escape key to end text editing. It looks like a few of our anchor points could use adjusting, so we're going to zoom in on the image. We'll use keyboard shortcut A to switch to the Bezier anchor select tool. Now we can go along and click and drag on our anchor points in order to reposition them. We're aiming to have the text just right above the tree trunk. We can also click and drag on the control handles to change the angle of the Bezier path. So this tutorial covered the basics of using Acorn's path text tool. Be sure to check out Acorn's additional written and video tutorials to learn more about editing images with Acorn.